Hello, friends. Welcome to my place. My name is Dave. Really good to have you here, though. You know what time it is? You see my video in the past few days. It's sample time from this house, Olympic Orchids. Now I have a sample box about 15, 20 samples that I've been trying to go through because I want to get for bigger bottles. The bigger bottles I got before was uh, 30 mil. This is Olympic Rainforest and Night Flyer. In case you don't know, the perfumer is Dr. Ellen Covey. She did the original bat for zoologist, which has become Night Flyer. To me, this is a masterpiece. I reviewed it. So I'm going to the sample pack. Now today is going to be this one, African Orchid and uh, Salamanca. First one I know, second one I don't know. I mean, I know what it means, African Orchid. Second one, Salamanca, no idea. Now I pay for the sample, so everything is all my opinion. Like it or not, it is what it is. Now I dab it on, these are dabber. I gotta tell you, um, of the two, four, six, or six, this the seven and eighth that I have um, smelled so far, these two are the most artistic. I mean, this is, um, hmm. You know, I was thinking about something as I was trying to think about how to how to describe this, and I was I just thought of something because I was doing other reviews for the um, you know the popular fragrances, and I was thinking, do you know what? Yeah, it makes sense about what this house is doing. Um, you know, we are all in the in this designer world that we smell a lot of fragrances uh, on the daily life and the most are easy going, very mass appealing, right? Everybody enjoy those fragrances. So it's not gonna offend anybody. But um, truth be told, they're not as, uh, I guess, intriguing or I guess artistic, okay? And that is the best way I could describe this. These are artistic type of scents. So everything has, has its place. So you have the massive plane that you can wear for everyday use. And then you have the artistic that you want to appreciate and, and discover. It's just like a piece of art or a piece of painting. Often it takes time and takes um, maybe some patience, takes some understanding to really get it. Now these are my own thoughts, okay? I'm not trying to sell you anything. I could care less if you buy it or not. It's just what I thought and why I enjoy this house so much. Um, the previous two, four, six are not that artistic and yet they're very unique, okay? Not like the typical designers. And I appreciate that. Those are still very easy going, but these two are the one that caught me. It's taking me, yeah, the first dab it's still taking me a while to actually really understand it. Um, African orchid, yeah, I got the orchid. I, I can smell the orchid, the floral notes coming out. And I think I'm getting what the Africa, African is stand, stands for. It's a little bit animalic. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or it's just my skin, but the floral, I bet this Elaine Lane. I mean, I have the other Elaine Lane, and this coming through very, very strong. This vanilla and some other orchid that I can pinpoint, but there's an under underlying animalic animalic note. That's a little bit different. Now. I just review. I just review another fragrance that is pretty. Uh, I just review fur furio. That one is very animalic, um, because of the castorium and civet. But this one is different. It's, this one is coming from, it's probably floral, the indolic, from the jasmine or maybe. Yeah, it's, it's taking me a bit to kind of settle down a little bit. So this one is harder for me, African orchid. I can smell those floral, the vanilla, there's a sweetness. Yeah, and there's some citrus. But the, um, the, the, the animal, you know, is kind of, uh, kind of taking over. In my, to my nose, so I, I need a second for it to go, you know, past the initial stage. Now, the Salamanca is also very, very intriguing. Um, I, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm smelling. I mean, you know, I, I sat here for a second and then before I started video and I, I didn't I have no idea how to perceive this. It's, it's not animalic, just make sure. Um, it's not blue, it's not, not really floral. Um, Maybe some immortal, because I was just smelling sunshine from Emma Wash, and there's something about that that's coming through. 
this is a little sweetness from that probably immortal um but there's something i don't know how to perceive it i was gonna say like pottery pottery um, i did pottery when i was younger in school there's a pottery class and i think i smell clay but i'm not sure if that's what i'm supposed to smell clay and some maybe vetiver maybe clay or hay i don't know which one uh i, I don't know what i'm smelling it's it's very complex it seems simple this one seems simple it seems to have just have the clay notes i don't even know if it's clay i'm just a member of my pottery class where we with you know the spending thingy and then you know with clay clay um pottery and then we try to uh, mold it into shape that's what i'm smelling but i'm not sure if that is it because that would be a very interesting um type of scent so yeah this is so intriguing i don't even know how to proceed um this is already two the um, most artistic the salamanca is not hard but it's just very interesting as if hmm as if i'm going to a old building in in maybe that's made of clay okay and then you can you can imagine the structure brick by brick or brick brick okay yeah clay or brick it smells like that yeah okay so that's the imagery i have uh in those old buildings um brick building and they're making clay okay it is some floral outside or something but it's not really the white floral this is probably immortal and there's a bit of sweetness i have no idea where it's from this is definitely taking me to another place but i don't know where <laughs> now coming back to african orchid yeah this is um hmm do you know i can i don't know if i should say this but african orchid because of the animalic notes somehow it feels like like a couple of those doing naughty things naughty things is essential not in this not in a dirty way okay but this there's a you know like sensual between two people okay i don't mean the act but the 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 you know the hugging and all those things not the actual act that's, that's not what i'm saying i understand um the other brand there's like the um uh, you know that smell like those you know acts it's not like that don't don't get me wrong but it is because the animalic notes and the, the accompanying scent notes or accord is um, I'm dumbfounded I mean of the of this uh, the um, previous six I was okay to describe them but these two I'm totally stuck as if you know you put a a, 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 um, a Picasso painting and say Dave explain this you know your first initial thoughts yeah I'm, I'm dumbfounded so I don't know what to say so I have definitely have to live with this too and I have to decide if I'm gonna get a um, full bottle of this but both of these are very strong these are powerful okay I have to decide this is definitely I need any more time okay first impression is not going to do it not going to cut it it's the most interesting most unique of the of these ones that I tried so far I'm kind of speechless so in a good way I mean these are not bad don't get me wrong but this is um floral animalic uh sh i'm sure this elaine elaine is indolic this vanilla here some sweetness i'm not sure it's from yeah that's what i'm picking up so far it's been yes uh, about 10 minutes since i put it on i dab it on just before i started the video and it's kind of sat here not sure how to explain this so um if you like interesting intriguing type of things for sure this too and um do you know what these are these are the type of scents that i want to go and, and read the read the notes and read what the the perfumer had in mind when she was putting this together because this is a lot to it leaves a lot to the imagination and it could be interpreted in many many different ways so this is it's nice though i gotta say it's nice um i had a couple scents before that i actually threw away um one was um versace Lum. that one smelled I was just going to take that's one that oh, that smelled the strongest of um like you know urine or whatever like that I I, th I literally throw away the bottle because I just couldn't take it but this one even though it's animal like, I keep repeating that because I'm still getting that 
um, it doesn't go that to that to that direction. It doesn't do that. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. This is so interesting. The African orchid. Um, the salamanca is is growing on me more. Okay. It's easier to take, and yet it's still interesting. It's still intriguing. I I think there's more to the clay notes I'm talking about. There's this other stuff. But this one is transporting me to that the place I was just mentioning, probably the old European uh, town, either castle or those houses, uh, the brick houses, if they have those. Yeah, it's taking me there. Um, it's not changing much yet. It's been, what, 11, 12 minutes since I had it, uh, I adapted it. So with that said, these two are strong performers. It's not it's versatile. It's um, unisex because I had no idea which way it lean. Oh, I'm sorry. The African orchid is going to lean more feminine. Okay. If more feminine. And um, Salamanca, maybe more masculine. Okay. If you could say that about clay. So with that said, yeah, interesting. I hope that is kind of helpful. Uh, sorry, the first impression. This is so hard. I cannot... I cannot explain or describe Picasso painting just on the spot right away. So I, I need more time to study it. Okay. I'll look into it. And uh, I hope that is helpful. As always, thumbs up, subscribe. Really appreciate you. See you next time.